Well, hello there and welcome to this uh, brand new and exciting video on the channel in VR. And today we are going to jump into a fresh title, also known as Transpose. This is a dreamlike, gravity-defying VR puzzle game set in a mesmerizing, surreal world with impossible architecture and scale that enables players to shift perspectives in ways not possible in any other medium. The game challenges you, the player, to solve physics-based puzzles as you explore a mysterious world full of wonder. So uh, for the people that are interested, uh, Transpose can be played on the PlayStation VR, Rift, Vive and Mixed Reality headsets. Of course, that sounds like a great adventure to me. Now it's time to give it a try and jump right into the Metaverse. Let's go! Whoa. Where the heck are we? What is this for a place? And who am I? Is this my body? I guess it is. Well, anyways, let's uh, get out of here. And uh, find out what what is happening to me and uh, this world around me. Oh my! Hello. What is going on? This is so trippy. I love it. It's like we arrived in the Matrix. Is this the virtual reality oasis? Is this the metaphors? The future? Okay, it's time to... to go. Luckily, something out of this world is leading the way. It's like they are worshipping this giant cube. What if that over there is the source of this universe of digital life, who knows, <laughs> time will tell. Something must be powering all of this. I gotta say, I love the art style. I mean, look at this. Pure art, right? Ah, 
I have so many questions, but sadly no answers. The only thing I can tell you is that whatever you do, don't look down. Oh, oh, this is kind of scary. Walk. Ah, so I think this is one of the first puzzles we we have to solve. This is like a warming up round. One of them is showing me how to solve this this mystery. How nice. I think we freed a bunch of souls now. Completed hearts feed power back to the world. Glad I could help. Let's go deeper down the rabbit hole. A new portal has appeared. The loading uh, times are impressively fast. Return. Return to sender. <laughs> oh, that's a great song. So what's next? Surprise me. Remove the core to collect a past echo. Interesting. Gotcha. Rings on your right arm represent each echo collected. We have uh, one so far, as you can see. Breakers will move parts of the environment. Ah! Eureka! Press and hold Y or B to pause time. Ooh, now we're talking. Select keep to retain your actions and rewind time. Step off the origin to begin a new timeline. Oh, that sounds awesome. Oh, no way. That's my... Move the slider on your left arm to fast forward time. That's the past me, you see. And it's about to help the, the future Nati out by activating this right over here. <laughs> That's genius. Man. That's a freaking epic gameplay mechanic. That's something else, something unique. Oh, I want more. More challenges. Portals remain completed once the heart has been completed. Now that makes sense. I'm afraid this is going to be very complicated later down the road. I have to work together with my past and future. <laughs> Catch! What does that mean?
Okay, okay, okay. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, that makes sense. Let's uh, give it a try. So I need to throw this cube to the other side and then catch it. Doc Brown would be proud. One more. <laughs> Keep. Go, go, go. Oh, wait, that's... <laughs> this is so weird. There are so many... Versions of me now. I should have deleted the previous one. Okay. Don't did it. I am slowly getting the hang of this uh, this game. Set go. If you are interested in this uh, puzzler, then uh, don't worry. Links are in the description uh, below. The levels are getting bigger and bigger. Oh. Well, that didn't work out. Sometimes it feels like I'm... I'm playing with... Online... Oh! No! Well, that escalated quickly. Online players. Because they, they move very naturally. But that's of course me. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with myself. <laughs> I see what, did, what you did there, Nathy. Oh, 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 wait. Wait, no. Echo. Oh. Just in time. Just in time. I'm very bad at throwing, I'm so screwed. <laughs> no, let's... Oh! Perfect! How do we... move this, this... platform though? I don't know. Oh, yes, of course, of course. And now it's time to catch. I think I have to play play this again. Can we? Oh, or just do that. Oh no, now I reset it the whole thing.
Oh. We're fine, we're fine. Luckily, we didn't have to start over. My past can be undone. Slide. It's giving you all kinds of clues. So we have a platform that can move. Wait for me! What did we just activate? Oh! Ooh, this is a good, good brain trainer. So I have to stand here. And then... Move the platform to the left. And then I will grab the cube from there. Let me give myself some time to do that. And then... I move it. That way, jumping over, walking to the other side, the platform is arriving. Jumping on there. And then it has to go up or, or down. Stop right there. Whew. So there it is. Then <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. I don't know what to say. Thanks. Oh, another cube? Oh no, I just realized that we made a huge mistake. So, apparently there are two cubes, not one. I thought that this cube I'm holding right now had to go to the other side. And I had to place it in a device there. But instead, there are two cubes on both sides that you need to take to the middle of the level. So, we have to find a way out. We have to use the future to make things right. Okay, now it's getting interesting, folks. <laughs> yes, let's do this. I hope you are still in the loop here. What if I just steal the cube. I can do that. I can steal the cube <laughs> from myself. <laughs> no way. 
because of this stupid mistake, I learned something new that can be a life savior in the near future. Just don't use all of your echoes though, then you are going to have a little problem, but overall, you're gonna be okay in almost every situation you create in the first place. Wow. <laughs> if, we, if we didn't screw up, we would have never known this was possible. Oh. I'm getting a little bit crazy now. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to talk like Doc Brown from Back to the Future. <laughs> but hey, uh, we don't have to go 88 miles per hour. We can just use these two touch controllers to make our way out. So we're fine, we're fine. That's one of the symbols. Place hands to sacrifice to the... Oh! Oh, what just happened? Sorry for the frame drop. We are playing with magic here, so... Let's do one more level and then uh, wrap uh, things up. Again, I think it's so cool that you can just make mistakes in this game and then just do whatever you can to prevent it from, from happening again. <laughs> it's, it makes you so much more creative. Uh, it actually makes the unexpected even more fun because you can relive it and do something about it. <laughs> yes. Press and hold the A or X button to select a new origin. Origin selection controls where you start after rewinding time. Ah. Yes. Are getting more and more powers to to play with. Oh, keep. I think, and then we should. Oh, hurry up! Nate is coming. There he is. And now. to Papa. Well, that was a quickie. Let's say the unexpected makes you more creative. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here. I want to thank you for watching. This was super fun to play. Oh yes. And uh, yeah, now it's time to jump to the outro and uh, 
end this video. Let's go! And those were the first, let's say, 30 minutes of Transpose or maybe an hour? Longer? Longer? I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I seriously have no clue how long we have been playing this puzzler. That's usually the problem, right? You jump into VR, you get completely immersed and then you forget about time. And the moment you take off your headset, you discover that you have been in this, this world of yours for two, three hours. <laughs> it's, it's crazy and I think the same happened to Transpose. But anyway, if you have any questions about Transpose, then uh, be sure to drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them all. Hopefully we will return to this uh, title in the near future. Who knows, time will tell. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there. And now it's time for me to sign off. And as I always say, and I see you guys uh, next time. See you in the metaphors. Bye bye, see ya uh, later. Yes.